Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to load Fortnite onto the Mac and run it. Fortnite's a massive game and a lot of people are playing it and it can be played on consoles and PC but it can also be played on Mac. So we're going to show you how to uh, load it and run it. Uh, today I have a subject matter expert with me. I've got a, uh, a nine-year-old guy from the YouTube channel Cursed Chimp Gaming and he's going to help me with the load and uh, do a little gameplay after so you can see that it works. Hi everybody. So I think the first thing we need to do is go into Safari and what website do we go to? Um, just put in like Fortnite Launcher. Fortnite Launcher. So we'll just do a Google search on that. And here, the first one that comes up here, Epic Games Fortnite. And this is the URL here, www.epicgames.com slash Fortnite slash download. And here, a web page comes up. And if you want to choose a different operating system than the one that you're on, you can. Um, but otherwise, it will detect your operating system and download the launcher immediately. You can see through here, Safari, it's downloading. And we have our launcher in our downloads immediately. So for some reason it doesn't happen, you can click on Mac or you can click on download here and it will, uh, it will do that for you. So now we can just quit out of Safari. Open up our launcher. And from here, drag and drop this into the applications folder and it will copy itself in there. It's a fairly small download, so it should happen quickly. But when you do the full game install, it's going to download from within the game. So there'll be kind of a second download that happens here. So we'll launch that here. It's giving us a security warning here saying uh, that this has been downloaded from the internet. We do know where it, where it came from, so it's okay to hit open. We can trust it. And here comes a downloader. Uh, it's actually appearing in the background here. This can happen sometimes when you click on that security notification. So you can close the window here or click the launcher down here to bring it to the front and then you can just see what's happening. So here it's downloading an update to the actual launcher. And guys, don't, if you see Epic Games launcher that does, it isn't made by Epic Games, don't press on it. Yeah, absolutely. There's some fakes out there, so uh, be very careful to make sure you're downloading it only from the place where you know you trust. So here it's popped itself into the background again, so you can, you can kind of click on it here. So here, you need to sign in with your uh, Epic Games account. If you don't have an account, it's no problem. Uh, just click here on sign up and it'll ask you for your, your name and your email and you can set a password and so on. Um, so uh, you'll need that to go to the next step here. So here um, we can sign in actually if you have accounts on other systems as well, Facebook, Google and so on. Um, in this case, we're going to use an Xbox sign in. And I'm going to blur this out just because we have uh, our, our own uh, sign in here. Okay, so we've connected here, and now we can go back to the Epic Games Launcher. And you'll see that uh, we're signed in, the screen has changed, and now we're actually able to install the game by pressing on this button here. We agree with the license. But if you guys want to read it, you can. Yep. And accept. And we choose the location we want. So that's the default should be fine. Okay, now here it's asking us to add friends and so on with social media accounts. You can do that if you like, but we're actually I not. already have friends on yeah. my account, so. 
Yeah, so we're not going to bother with that. Uh, but it'll search your Facebook and that kind of thing to look for friends that could be online. But we're going to just turn that off here. So now it's going to go through a down, uh, download process, download and install process. So this can take uh, quite a while depending on your internet speed. Uh, or it can be fast if you've got a really fast internet. So um, rather than letting you wait here in the video watching it all download, uh, we'll just come back uh, as soon as the download's finished. But on your side, please be patient. Uh, this could take a while. I think in our case, it's probably going to take about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. So we'll be right back to finish the install. Okay, the game is fully downloaded and the download progress bar will change to a launch button. So from here, we should be able to launch the game and uh, hopefully it uh, should connect to servers and allow us to play. Great, so here we're into full screen and it's loading the game and should connect online. Okay, so here um, this option will allow the game to automatically set the best settings based on the speed of your computer. So in this case, we we're running it on a MacBook Air um, and you can change all this afterwards. So I think in general, if you hit confirm, that'll be a good, uh, good plan. It'll do uh, all the settings for you. Great, now we can select your game type. Okay, we're in the lobby and we are ready to get into uh, one of the games. So I'm going to uh, hand it over here to our representative from Cursed Chimp Gaming and we'll see a little bit of gameplay just to make sure that it works. found the video helpful in loading Fortnite on the Mac. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button to like it 
and subscribe to our channel for more videos and share it on social media. And if you have any suggestions as to new topics that we could cover in the future, please put them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.